All right, guys, what's going on, man? We are super stoked to have you here at FFRonline.tv. Man, the chances are, if you're watching this video, that it's probably your first time logging in or one of your first times logging in. So what we want to do is we want to give you a quick walkthrough of how to own and maximize your time on FFRonline.tv. So this is pretty cool, and, and I just want to, you, you, you defer, I first want to say this. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart that this website was created for you, for the first responder. So as we log in, we are going to ask you to do something. We're going to ask you to contribute, all right? So before I get on anything and show you anything, how you can have success on here, I want to ask you to contribute. How do you contribute? Number one, you contribute to being your best. You make a commitment right now that you're going to log on every day, that you're going to do the workouts, that you're going to contribute in being the best version of you and maximizing your God-given talent to ultimately be fit for duty and fit for life. Number two, I'm going to ask you to contribute to the community. All right, this website was created and it's the only website out there to bring first responders together. And it's a community first, then it's all of these personal development tools that you're going to get. So how do you contribute to the community? If you have not already, you're going to see a form in here on FFRonline.tv, but I want to encourage you to get over to our private Facebook page, go over to Facebook, put in fit for duty, period, fit for life, period, and make sure you get over there, uh, request access. We will have to accept you. It's only people that are, are part of our FFRonline.tv family, and that's the second way that we'll need you to contribute, all right? So you are a contributor. You're the finest. You're the bravest. Now let's take you on a quick tour of how you can maximize FFRonline.tv. As you can see right now, this is our homepage, all right? This is where most people will come before they have ever logged in, before they're a member. This is where we draw traffic to as first responders where they can sign up, all right? So you'll come here to FFRonline.tv. You'll go up to the top where it says log in. Every time you want to log in, you'll go up to the top, you'll log in, and you'll log into your account. All right, right here, you're going to type in your credentials. All right, we're going to put in our credentials, but you have been given credentials on what you need to do to walk through, okay? And then you'll hit log in. If you want to hit remember me, it can remember you. That way, you don't have to type in your credentials every time. Now, once you log in, the first thing you're going to see right here at the top is our dashboard, okay? Our dashboard is like our news feed. So this is the first thing that you should look at every single day. This is where we'll update you of the latest and greatest things going on on a daily, a weekly basis at FFRonline.tv. It's where we'll drop uh, our merch when we drop merchandise for 24 hours or 48 hours where you could order your merchandise. This is where we'll give away some really cool things that you'll wanna make yourself aware of. This is where we'll keep you up to date on current events going on within the FFR fit first responder world. All right. So this is going to be an important part for you. And this is very simple how we laid out. You have the dashboard and then you have the four pillars to ultimately be fit for duty and fit for life. As you scroll, scroll down, you'll see the fitness. This is where your workouts every single day of the day are going to be posted. All right. When you go to your workouts, you're going to have three different kind of workouts. You have the strength and conditioning right there. You can see you have the tactical fitness right there, which you can see, and you have the build and burns right over here, which you can see, all right? So you get to pick every day. Now, one of the things you're not seeing right now as we do the walkthrough is these exercises are actually, you're going to see them hot where they're links, where basically you could click on an exercise, like say you don't understand under strength conditioning, the strength A says squats. And you say, well, I don't know what a squat is, or I want to see what the right technique or form is. You can click that right there, and a video of us performing the squat, coaching you through the squat, and showing you how it needs to be done will pop up right there. Okay, so you have the strength and conditioning, you have the tactile fitness, and you have the build and burn. These workouts change on a daily basis. So as you log in, you'll see the workouts of the day. And I want to run through really quick with you, how do I actually perform these workouts, okay? They're all laid out in a very similar way, and we're just going to go through the strength and conditioning for now. You can see it has the date at the top, Monday, strength and conditioning workout, June 4th, 2018. Strength work, A, squats, barbell slash kettlebell. That's basically saying for your A block, you're going to perform squats using a barbell or a kettlebell, and you're going to perform three sets of eight. All right, when you see this, this is your core lift of the day. We don't include your warm-up sets. Those are three sets of eight working sets. All right, that's also with that, 
as you can see, there's not a letter with another number, which means you perform all your sets of A before you move on to B. Okay, so I'm going to perform three sets of eight working sets on my squat with a barbell or a kettlebell, and then I'm going to move down to the B block. When I move down to the B block, you can see on the B block, we have a B1 and we have a B2. Okay, since you see a letter with two numbers, B1 and B2, that means I'm performing a superset, which means I'm going to do a set of B1, and then I'm going to do a set of B2. Then I'm going to recover, and then I'm going to do my second set of B1, my second set of B2, then I'm going to recover, then I'm going to do my third set of B1 and my third set of B2. So I'm going back and forth between exercise one, B1, and exercise B2 until I perform the designated amount of sets, which is three. C, the C block, you can see it's a tri-set, C1, C2, C3, which means I'm going to do similar to what I did in B, but now I'm rotating between three exercises. I'm going to hit a set of C1 for eight reps. I'm going to set a C2 for 12 reps. I'm going to set a C3 for 15 reps, and I'm going to go through that max rounds in seven minutes through C1, C2, C3. Then I'm going to go C1, C2, C3 again. So I'm not performing all of C1, then all of C2, then all of C3. I'm hitting a set of C1, a set of C2, a set of 3C. That's one set, and I'm going back and rotating through that. Okay, on your finishers. Typically on a finisher, um, it'll work exactly the same. If you see one letter, then it means you're just performing that one exercise. There's times where you might see multiple letters. You'll superset, triset, or however many letters are in there with the, or numbers with the actual letter, okay? That one right there says max round seven to 10 minutes, goal equal four. All right, guys, so it's simple. The tactical fitness is laid out the same exact way, and the build and burns are laid out the same exact way. Now, you say, well, Coach JC, what do I do uh, when I come here and I, I knocked out these workouts? What about on some off days maybe? Well, you see up at the top where it says fitness, that tab, bam, all day. Look at that. Workouts. We got the build program. We got the burn program. We got tactical fitness program. We got warm-up videos. We got five-minute blasts. We got recovery strength uh, performance for you. Testing. We got exercise library. So you're going to come in here. You're going to do your performance testing. That's going to be able to give you some indicators. We have exercise library with over 200 different videos and exercises, and those will show you really quick. Click on that, Coach Isaac, so we can walk them through an exercise library. These are the actual videos that will pop up when you click an exercise and you're not exactly sure, well, man, how do I perform that squat? These are all in alphabetical order, but just scroll down, Isaac. Just show them this, coach. Look at this. All these exercises. All right. We put together a comprehensive exercise library for you. Hey, listen, you're not going to see them all here because we're adding to them all day, every day. Look at this. It goes on. What number, what letter are we on right now? We're only on T. Look at this, look at this, look at this. And it's going to go on and on and on, all right, guys? So we just want to show you how that works, all right? Let's go back to the dashboard really quick, coach. When we go back to the dashboard, okay, remember at the top you have the news feed, you have the three programs. We just went over how to read the three programs. That's the first pillar, fitness. And then you have the other three pillars of our program to be fit for duty and fit for life, focus, food, and family. All right, under the focus pillar, every single week, we give you a theme of the week. All right, with that theme, you get PDFs. With that theme, you get videos. All you have to do is read more, click more, uh, and you could click through, and it'll take you to the video that you can actually watch and learn from so that you could understand what that theme of the week is. We have recipes for days under the food we have cool uh, recipes. We have professional uh, dietitians that'll come on. We have our FFR family that'll put, post stuff in here. Uh, we have cookouts at, at different uh, stations or departments or houses. So that's going to be posted each week as well. And then the family, this is our cool forum where you can actually go and you could see uh, other members all throughout the nation that are part of FFRonline.tv. So you see the focus pillar. You can go up to the top. Let's go up there first. Focus pillar, under there, you have the motivational minutes, which are podcasts we put together for you. You have the weekly game plans, which correlate to the actual dashboard you saw. We have mental health videos that we put together with professional counselors and therapists to continue to coach you on what you need to do to stay strong mentally. We have spiritual health where we have our chaplain and our pastors on here giving you guidance on how you can grow spiritually, overcome obstacles in your life, and be your best. 
We have actually wellness videos on here where we go through different things within the wellness world separate from strength and conditioning where you can continue to grow in other areas of your life, okay? Then we go to the food pillar. The food pillar, look at this. We have weekly recipes, okay, where all those recipes, they go on and on, all right, to help you win within the 10 habits, all right, and then we have the nutrition, click there, coach, we have the nutrition tab, which under here is your game plan for nutrition. Look at this, Nutrition 101, that's where you'll start. Nutrition 101, scroll down just a little, you see that download the nutrition guide, bam, all day, you could download that right there. Right there is our 10 habits, right? Look at that, 10 habits. You could download your 10 habit card, print it out. Yep, download it, post it somewhere. There's Am I Compliant? You will learn more about this, but there's a compliance sheet which you'll fill out every week. Awesome. Right there's a food log up to the right, a daily food log that you could print out, and it has a food log for you to actually log your food. As you scroll down, you're going to see the, um, the Nutrition 2.0. Don't start here. This talks more about supplements and uh, different specialized nutrition plans, uh, but I want you to start in the Nutrition 1.0. As you continue to scroll down, you'll see recipes, cooking classes, and videos, and this goes on and on. So that's that pillar. And then you have the family pillar. The family pillar, yep, which you saw on the dashboard. We have Heroes Testimonies, which is really cool. If you want to be motivated, inspired, man, you want to go here and check out a bunch of the testimonies and victories and stories from other first responders just like you that created breakthroughs through our program. And then we also have a Heroes Video Podcast. The cast is coming soon. You'll see videos on there where we highlight first responders that are really doing what they need to do and doing their part. And then we have the Community Forum. Click on that, Coach. This is the actual forum that you could go to where we could actually uh, communicate with you and you could communicate with us and you could com communicate with other first responders throughout the nation. And you could post questions here, comments, concerns, ideas, any way where you think you can contribute to the family as well. And I want to take you it's over to the right at the top nav, start here. The start here. All right, if you see this, your first time that you registered and signed in, you had a pop-up page that you saw, and it gave you a welcome video. It gave you this walkthrough video. It gave you a little information on goal setting and, and, and how to win. But if you ever need to see those things, you, you go here, all right? If you're new to this, you should start here, the welcome video, understanding what we're about, our walkthrough video. That's what you're watching right now. Meeting our team, understanding who's going to be coaching you, and the professionals that we put together, our philosophy behind why we do what we do and what separates from us from any other community, program, or nonprofit in the entire nation for first responders. There's nobody doing what we do and giving you the content and have built the community uh, that you need. And then goal setting sheet, which you should start there, and a measurement guide, which you should also start there. So you can see up top merchandise. We'll drop merchandise uh, on special occasions. When we do drop it, you want to get it. You can see down the right on the side, we have our podcast. You can click on there and it'll take you to a podcast. We have a motivational minute right there. And then you'll see some of our partners uh, that we have and friends and FFR family. That is actually a feed coming through where we'll start posting our, uh, our most popular threads in our forum. All right, guys, so there you have it. It's a quick little run through of the FFRonline.tv. Remember, start at the dashboard. Keep it simple. Four pillars. Remember, this is your site. This community was built for you. Keep it simple. Don't get overwhelmed. We broke this down so that a fifth grader can log in here and go to the start here, go through the four pillars, log in every day. Just take care of business, do the workouts, and don't forget, you could always email us at customer service at fitfirstresponders.org with any questions, or you could always contact us at the Fit for Duty, Fit for Life private Facebook page. All right, guys, once again, this is Coach JC reminding you, you are fit for duty. You are fit for life.